ladies and gentlemen, it's Lawrence from Nerfless TV again. Today we're having a look at this. This is the Low Pro Protactic 350 AW. It is a rugged photographer's, videographer's uh, backpack. And it's got a couple of really nice features. I've been using this for about a month now. Um, and I think the biggest feature, I suppose, is the fact that it's got these belts all over it. And what happens with these belts is you can fit these extras. These are the set that actually come with it. And so you've got a couple of belts for your tripod and a bottom for your tripod. And then a, I suppose, water bottle or pouch or something like that. And a little zipped pouch, which you can use for pretty much anything. Apart from a really, really well constructed backpack, we've got this hard bit at the top here, which when you open it, see if you can get a good look at it there you'll see you've got this pouch up top here which is basically this whole sort of dome area here fills there so you can fit quite a bit in there a little SD card holder there and you also have access to the top of the bag so you can have uh, another body here or your camera here or something like that I just have uh, batteries and that type of thing and umbrellas um, but it's it's basically your first access to the the main body Okay, let's move around the bag here a little bit uh, At the back You've got your two Waist straps with pockets on them. I use them for as you can hear uh, ND filters and that type of thing maybe an extra battery or two. Yeah And you've got your normal Straps they're padded got some nice ventilation on them and the whole back has also got these nice pads with the vents and all that type of thing on it. And it's actually very comfortable. I've had this for about a month, as I said, and I've carried it around quite a bit. At the bottom here, you've got a little pouch, another handle, and a little pouch where your rain cover is. It's attached, which is good for people like me that like to lose these things. The one thing I did find with this is obviously everything that you've got attached to the outside you can't have attached to the outside if you want to put this on. So your tripod, your extra little bag, maybe a water bottle, whatever the case is, that has to go if you want to cover it with this. It only covers the bag. The one thing I did like about this, which is basically the reason that I got it, um, because I do a lot of traveling and uh, you're always in crowds of people where some of them might have sticky fingers. This one opens from the back the top and the two sides but your main axis is from the back so you can't actually open it while it's on your back which is good um, I'll show you inside now now let's just move around it on the side here you've got your other access to the side of the internals so what you can do is you can put uh, one camera this side maybe some lenses the other side because you've got another one with these pockets the other side and they've got zips from both sides so you can up or down whatever your choice is and then each side has got this little pocket this one's got a little elasticated sub pocket there they're small but they'll carry a couple of SD cards maybe a, I think in this side one I've actually got a little yeah got a little light so you know that type of thing it also has a An attached belt for your keys so if you want to do that and of course your other pocket over here to open from the other side it's quite nice because you can just slip it off onto one arm and access you know the one pocket and then maybe slip on the other arm and access that pocket so you don't have to take the thing off and start digging around and that type of thing it's quite good it's very rugged, but that's what it's made for. So it's made for the, the outdoorsy type, not so much my type, but the, the guy that likes to go mountaineering or slap it on his back and uh, take an off-road bike up a mountain to go and take some photos or whatever the case is. But it's, it's made for rugged use and it's very well built. The zips, a lot of these types of things, especially the cheaper ones, as the wear and tear happens, your zips start to wear 
and they normally the first thing that give way. Either the little latches that you use to pull or the actual zips themselves. This has zero wear and tear. Okay, it's only been a month, but very nicely built. Okay, let's look inside. You can zip all the way down here. And you have access to the entire insides. There's a lot of extras of these dividers with Velcro and there's literally too many for any normal person to use. So you can set it up any way that you want. I've got it so that I can access a DSLR this side and, and extra goodies this side, but I'm busy shooting on my DSLR so you can't see it right now. But you can set it up pretty much any way that you want and you have access to both sides and the top, so the choice is yours. In the lid over here it's got a picture of a laptop, but uh, it's rated it on their site as well. They say that you can take anything up to maybe a 12 inch MacBook Air, um, something 13 inch like I use an iPad Pro that I put fits in there okay but don't expect to put your uh, MacBook Pro or something like that your 15 inch in here it's not gonna fit the 13 inch probably would fit the bigger brother of this which is the 450 obviously the only difference is it's slightly bigger and the back the lid itself will actually fit a 15 inch MacBook on that one or any 15 inch laptop it also has these pockets over here. They're quite tight. So they don't, uh, there's not a lot of give. Um, also quite nicely, nicely hardy. They, they, they don't feel like they'll just tear. A lot of these plasticky mesh things are inclined to tear quite easily. This doesn't even feel like it, it's willing to give. So you can fit a few extra things. You can see I've got dongles, some cables, maybe an extra battery, but not much else, but they're there. Overall, I must admit, this is a very well-made backpack. One of the better made that I've, I've tried, and I've got a whole pile of them over there. So I've tried a few. It's not cheap, but for this type of construction and this type of ease of use, you're not going to get it cheap. I'll put some links down below for their affiliate links so that you can go and have a look at it um, in your various uh, currencies but I would definitely recommend it I'm going to try get it in its slightly bigger brother the 450 to have a look at that um, because I do find that the space requirements in here are a little limited for what I use for somebody that is just into photography and just wants one body maybe two bodies and some lenses and a tripod plenty this will do the deal this will do the job well but for somebody like me that dabbles in a bit of both doing some videography and some so I've got to take basically stuff to support both my habits <laughs> so it's a little bit limiting as far as the space goes but I'll try the big one because I like everything else about this backpack it's it's good it's made well it's comfortable durable all those lovely things that make a good backpack Anyway, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe, like, click the little bell if you did enjoy it. And I will catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.